Okay, first off, I wasn't there, but with the amount of hearsay I've managed to gather, I feel like I was at four different concerts. So the way I look at it, I came out on top. Today we're going to talk about the biggest concert that's happened in Kenya, depending on who you ask. The Mombasa Rocks Festival. First off, right off the bat, most anime name I've ever heard. Have you seen some of the names of festivals out there? There is the Beastival. I don't even know what that is. The Green Man. I think this is where guys go to look for aliens. Ballypop. You know someone was definitely high on something while coming up with this name. Belly pop. My favorite, Burning Man. Yo, Burning Man. I don't have time to explain this festival, but when you're done with this video, go ahead and Google Burning Man. And if you're anything like me, you're gonna add it to your bucket list. So the first poster of this thing came to me on uh, about Early September, mid-September around there, and it came in one of those WhatsApp groups that you're just in for the ambience, you don't really say much, you just read what comes up. About 80% of us were so damn sure that this was a hoax. Boy, weren't we wrong. Because this Rihanna slapping nigga actually showed up. So there was a general complaint of why there were no any Mombasa artists on the lineup. I guess they had their reasons, and I'm not going to get into that shit right now. Anyway, to the heart of the matter, for the artists who did make the cut, first off, Vanessa Mdee, I do not know what the fuck you were doing. I don't know who picked out this outfit for you, but whoever it was, find them, kill them. That's it. Find them, kill them. I don't know what look you were going for on this, but my advice to you is keep going. You're not there yet, just, just keep going. Far, far ahead. Far ahead. So with all the concerts that I was figuratively at, the smart niggas know what I'm talking about. For you slow people, you best catch up. The one thing that came true with all the different stories that I had is the best performance of the night was by Whiskey. Uninterrupted, uncut, unrushed, and it was backed by a band. That shit was off the chain. But I don't know if it was playing Hot Lava. Do you know the game? It's a game that's played by children and me where we imagine that the floor is full of lava and you gotta make your way around whatever room you're in without stepping on the floor. Because this nigga put up over 80% of his performance right on top of speakers. Christopher Brown, Breezy, CB, AKA Baba Royalty. First off, right off the shelf, he performed to play back. That shit was whack, but who the fuck cares? It's Chris Brown. Some people were losing their shit just because they got to see this nigga. It wasn't even about the performance. Just seeing Chris Brown on stage. This nigga would have come on stage and struck poses to his songs for the entire 90 minutes and some people would still go bloody ape shit. Just like there were so many positives to this event, there was also one major negative. The biggest people who took a hit on this were the organizers of the formal party. I don't know if you know about this. On the same weekend, Flavor and Fuse ODG were in Nairobi at the Ngong race course. This was the first time that Mombasa has ever been more lit than night. I'm sure some of you are watching this video and you didn't even have a clue that these guys were in the country. And that's what happens, as in... Don't do shit when somebody bigger than you is doing the same shit on the same day. So back to Mombasa Rocks. They're already planning the next one. There are a couple of rumors already going around, but I don't want to propagate that shit. My advice to the guys that they should focus on home. Like, if you were to ask me, the lineup I would like to see at that next event would be uh, definitely South Soul. I think they have West Africa by the freaking balls. Diamond, the Council, Chameleon, Baby Cool, Yamoto Ban, Dazzler, Cindy from UG, and one more artist from Mombasa. If each of these guys did one hour or 30 minutes performance, I believe this year would be massive and it would have a bit more of an East African feel, a bit more of a home feel and guys are gonna love that shit. But hey, that's just me. My name is Ricky and this is The Vent. Until next time, salute.